Okay, so annoyingly, it seems that I have to go into this battle with six Pokemon. So that's why I have a team of six Pokemon for this solo. First off, I want to say I originally tried Belly Drum Extreme Speed Linoon. I thought it would be great for this. Uh, but that strategy relied on Archaeops missing a Head Smash, which should be a 20%, but it never missed in 100 tries. So something funny is going on there. And additionally, I did need uh, some critical hits and tail slap luck. So that really was a ridiculous approach that never really would have worked anyway. So then, after a lot more headaches of trying to plan for this inverse field, I finally realized that Crobat with some egg moves was probably my best bet here. So um, Hypnosis is one of its egg moves, which isn't great, but with the wide lens, it becomes about a 2 and a 3 to hit, which is workable, as as I did manage to get it to work. Um, substitute is needed to deal with Mega Aerodactyl, for which there is no way for me to outspeed, so I have to somehow take a hit, and Substitute is a fairly good way to do that. And I can set that up with um, Hypnosis help. And then the EVs are to make sure I outspeed Terrakion, and then Special Attack and HP are, are the rest. On to the battle. So I outspeed because Crobat's super fast, and I put Archaeops to sleep. And then I get into Nasty Plots, which will allow me to one-shot all of Adam's non-Sash or whatever Pokemon, except Tyranitar, which I cannot one-shot even with three Nasty Plots. Um, Archaeops does get in a quick attack before I'm able to take it down, but that's fine. I have enough HP to do what I need to do. Tyranitar's out next, and again, put it to sleep. And then I get up a Substitute, since Aerodactyl will come out next. And then, luckily, Tyranitar stays asleep so that I can two-shot it with Sludge Bombs. Like I said, Mega Aerodactyl is up next, and it breaks my Substitute, but I also put it to sleep. This allows me to get in another Substitute, which will help me deal with the Rampardo's Crest. And then Aerodactyl slays asleep, and I can easily one-shot it with Sludge Bomb. Terrakian's out next, and this should be four times super effective with Sludge Bomb on the inverse field, but it has the stupid Focus Sash, so it, again, put it to sleep, and then two-shot it. And since Terrakian stayed asleep and didn't break my Substitute, I have that substitute up, I don't need to worry about putting Rampartos to sleep, and I've actually won at this point. One single Sludge Bomb takes down the Gigalith, and that's the solo of Adam.